but they've cranked up the defense. And again, as you mentioned, this look has thrown North Dakota now into fits. Eleven nothing run for GU. Crandall drawing a lot of attention behind the back. Avance is blocked by Silas. Ravel takes a step in, rattles it home. Some breathing room, up by four with 108 to play. Crandall on the other end, an offensive foul. No, oh, excuse me. Silas Nelson got the ball there, Sam. Came up under Crandall on the drive, but what a swing there. You got. Behind the back pass from Crandall. That's a great set from North Dakota. Avon's just not able to finish a lot of contact. No whistle. And you come down the other way. Zach Novell with the tough finishing transition. Crandall makes the first. And see and now if, Tilly back in. Well, let's see here. If, North, if Crandall knocks down the street throw, what kind of wrinkle North Dakota tries to throw at Gonzaga defensively. Got no IFB, just has up two big makes there. Back to a two-point game, just now a minute to play. We're gonna hear a pin drop here inside the kennel. There's a little floater in the lane, no good by Norvell. Loose ball! Extended by Perkins. It's the second time we've seen Perkins come up with the long rebound. And here, if you're North Dakota, you don't have to foul. Just be solid. If you get the stop, you might be able to get something in transition. But you have to rebound. Yes. They didn't on that last shot attempt. 20 seconds to play. Five on the shot clock. Here's Perkins dribbled it off his knee. Looking, looking. Here's Tilly the give. And a foul, boy, did they get bailed out there. With one on the shot clock, they took every second off the clock, and then, and then they go to the line. Well, look, you, you found the right guy if you're North Dakota. You've got Williams at the line, who's struggling to start the year at 54%. And Tilly, there, you've got the nice little floater. That's a tough pass. Uh, a tight window, but Williams able to get the shot up. And knock down the free throw. As if there was any doubt. Now it's going to be interesting to see if Coach Few plays the foul game on his end, defensively being up three, but they're going to talk over there.